morning, boys and girls. It's Friday. We made it through another wonderful week of learning, and I'm so proud of you. So let's finish strong and get right to our lesson, okay? So yesterday was the 2nd of April. Tomorrow will be the 3rd, and Saturday will be the 4th. We won't be in school. Um, yesterday was Thursday, so today is Friday. Tomorrow will be Saturday of April, right? Great job. So here's the whole date. It is April 2nd, 2020. It's Friday. Yay. And the short form of the day is 4-2-20. Write that on all of your papers, please. All right. Let's do some counting. Go ahead and count to 100 for me. Let's get this straight for you. Pause now. All right, let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job, let's count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Great work. Okay, I'll hold this for you and you count by twos all on your own from two all the way to 100. Pause now. All right, great job. So yesterday we had been in school for 143 days. We're gonna add one more one to the ones place and now we don't have three, we have four and we still have one group of 100 four groups of 10, and one, two, three, four once. That makes 144 days. How many more days till we make another 10? Think about that. Good job. All right. I made sure I wasn't going to forget to do our morning math problem, so here it is. And I want you to be sure that you uh, pay attention to the sign and what operation you're going to use, okay? It's a big one. There it is. Go ahead and write it down on your paper. Solve it, pause the video, and, or pause the video, then solve it, and come back when you're ready. Ready? Okay. So, where do we always start in math? Opposite of reading and write, we start all the way on the right for math over here in the ones place. What do we have here? An eight and a five, and what operation are we using? Subtraction, good. So eight, take away five. Let's see. I'm gonna hold up eight. I'm gonna take away one, two, three, four, and five. How many are left? Three. So far we have three in the ones place. Now we can move to the tens place, right? Six, take away four. Go ahead and put up six fingers. Take away one, two, three, four. How many are left? Just two. So we'll put, it, we'll put a two in the tens place. Okay, take a look at the hundreds place. What do we have there? Four minus three. Four, take away one, two, three. How many is left? Just one. And our answer is 123. One, two, three. Did you make sure to subtract? I hope you paid attention to the sign. Great job. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to phonics. Okay, monkeys, let's get to work on some phonics. The first thing we do is tap out words, right? Okay, the first word is shirt. What's the word? Shirt. Fingers up. Sh -er -t. Shirt. How many sounds? Three sounds. Arm sweep it. Sh -er -t. Shirt. Great job. The next word is blooper. What's the word? Blooper. Fingers up. B. O. O. Er, blooper. How many sounds? 
five sounds. Arm sweep it. B, o, u, p, er, blooper. Great job. The next word is jeans. What's the word? Jeans. Fingers up. J, e, n, s, jeans. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. J, e, n, s, jeans. Good job. The next word is sofa. What's the word? Sofa. Fingers up. S, o, f, a. Sofa. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. S, o, f, a. Sofa. Good job. The last word is battle. What's the word? Battle. Fingers up. B, a, t, o, battle. How many sounds? Four sounds. Arm sweep it. B, a, t, o, battle. Great job. Okay, just like I promised, it's Friday, so we're going to do all of our letter names and sounds today for phonics. So here we go. G says G or J. Z says Z. z. F says F. E says E or E. V says N. U says A or U. J says J. O says A or O. X says X. A says A or A. C says K or S. I says I or I. N says N. Y says Y or E or I. B says B. R says R. M says M. S says S. Y, w says W. P says P. D says D. H says H. T says T. K says K. L says O. Great job on that. Let's go ahead and move on to digraphs and trigraphs. Here we go. Er, g, sh, n, k, ch, j, qua. Ng, n, ed, d, or t, w, n. Great job. Okay, time for vowel teams, our controlled vowels, and variant vowels. Here we go. Oi, e, i. E A I. Oh, ah. O. U or U. Er. Er. U or U. Ow or U or U. A. R, oi, ow or o, er, a, o, u or u, or, er, i or e, a. A, A, 
E A A. Great job on that. Let's go ahead and move on to the smart board. Okay, boys and girls, are you ready to read some words? Here we go. K O Ow D Cloud F Or N Form T Er Ow T Trout O I T E N Listen it's what it's spelled like, right? But we say listen. Good job. Sh, er, a, uh, b, shrub. T, er, i, p, a, d, tripod. No, that doesn't sound right. Let's um, let's give it a long i sound. T, er. I, p, a, d, tripod. Remember I talked to you about those open and closed syllables? If you clap out tripod, tripod. We have tri and pod. Now look at this letter. This is at the end of that first syllable. So it is an open syllable, remember? That's why it has the long I sound. So it's tripod. Great job. Axle. Axle. I'll give you a hint on this one. This is where our syllables separate. So look at this syllable. Is it opened or closed? Okay, it's open, so that means it has what type of vowel sound? Good, a long vowel sound. Here we go. N, U, S, I, K. Music. Good job. V, R, B, S. Verbs. Nice work. Okay. Here you go. On your own, you're going to sound it out, and then we'll read it together. Think. Cloud. Think. Form. Think. Trout. Think. Listen. Think. Shrub. Think. Tripod. Think. Axle. Think. Music. Think. Verbs. Great job. All right. We know these words. Let's read them nice and quickly. Cloud. Form. Trout. Listen, shrub, tripod, axle, music, verbs. Nice work. Let's read these words in some sentences. Okay, think about this one. We've already read it. Listen to the Go ahead and sound this one out. We haven't read it yet, but I think you can figure it out. Let's sound it out. K, A, O, M, Kelm? That's not a word I know. Let's try um, a long A. Okay. K, A, O, M, Kelm? No, that doesn't sound like a word I know. So A makes one more sound, right? It says ah. Let's try it with the ah sound. K, ah, um, 
Calm. That's a word I know. Calm. Good job. Think about this word. You've already read it. Music. Very good. Listen to the calm music. Listen to the calm music. Okay, let's swoop it. Listen to the calm music. Listen to the calm music. One more time. Listen to the calm music. Great job. Next sentence. Here we go. I see a, think about this word, you've already read it, cloud in the, think about this word, you haven't read it, but you can sound it out, it has a bossy E, shape, very good, of a, think about this one, we've already read it as well. Trout. I see a cloud in the shape of a trout. I see a cloud in the shape of a trout. Okay, let's swoop it. I see a cloud in the shape of a trout. I see a cloud in the shape of a trout. One last time. I see a cloud in the shape of a trout. Nice work. Okay, let's get out our, our uh, phonics journals and go get to work on writing some words. All right, are you ready to write some words? Okay, you know the drill. I'll give you the sound. You write the letter or letters for the sound. Then we'll sound out the word and read it together. Okay? The first word has a consonant blend at the beginning, and those two letters say st, st. The next sound is er, just one letter. The next sound is a vowel team. Two vowels that say e, I will give you a hint, they're the same letter. And the last sound is it? Okay, sound it out. What's the word? Street. Very good. Let's write it together. I said the first sound is a consonant blend. Two sounds, two letters, two consonants, right? St. S-T. St. And the next sound is er, just one letter. That's R. And a vowel team that says E. And they're the same letter. What two letters? E E. And T. Street. Very good. Okay, ready for the next word? Okay, below the word street, all the way to the left of the page, another consonant blend to begin this word, and that is sk. You know two ways to say sk, right? Choose the one that you think it is. When you hear the next sound, maybe you can make the determination whether you see or K, okay? The next sound is R. R control bell. R. Now you can determine whether you use SC or SK. Okay, the last sound is just one letter. Okay, sound it out. What's the word? Scarf. Good job. Okay, let's take a look. We hear sk, right? And we know it could be SC or SK. Well, we might need to know the next sound to determine if we use a C or a K. We know the next sound is R. An R control vowel, two letters, A R, A R. So if I'm using A as the next letter after sk, then what do I use? C or K? C. Very good. 
So it's S C A R. Remember that rule? If the next sound after the k is a or a or a, an a, a u or an o, then you use c. But if it's an i or an e, you use k, right? S k r f. Okay. Next word below the word scarf. Ready? Consonant vowel, consonant blend at the beginning. Okay. Burr. What two letters say? Burr. Okay. The next sound. A vowel team. They're the same letter. They say e. And the last sound is z. The last sound. There's something at the end of this word. We'll talk about it here in a minute. What is the word? Breeze. Good. Okay. Burr. E. 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 Z. Okay. Breeze. For some reason, there's a bossy E at the end of this word. We don't need it because E E together says E. But the word breeze has an E at the end, okay? So just remember that one. Breeze. Good job. Okay, ready for the next word? Okay, you're gonna you're gonna write the whole word on your own. I'm gonna tell you the word, we'll tap it out, then you write it, okay? Get ready. The first word, we're gonna start right up here, is Flower, flower. Okay, let's tap it out. O, ow, er. Four sounds. O, ow, er. Flower. Okay, go ahead and write it. Come back when you're ready. Ready? Okay. What do you hear at the beginning? A consonant blend? Me too. Full. 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 Good. And then we hear ow. Two letters. And we know two ways to say ow, right? In this word, it's O W. Flow. Er. Two letters, because it's at the end of the word, right? It's an ending. Er, E-R. Okay, let's make sure that we have four sounds just like we said. O, ow, er. One, two, three, four. Four sounds just like we said. Great job. Okay. Below the word flower, you're going to write the word painting. Painting. You got ing at the end. You already know the letters that make the ing sound. Let's tap it out. P. A. N. T. And we'll just count ing as one, okay? Ing is one sound. One, two, three, four, five, okay? Painting. Listen. P. A. I hear a long A. It is a vowel team. Did you write it? Okay, let's do it together. I hear p. I hear a, and I said it was a vowel team, a i. Then I hear n and t and ing. What three letters say ing? I n g. Let's check to make sure we got all the sounds. P A N T Ing. We counted we counted Ing as one, right? One, two, three, four, and five. Just like we said. Great job. Okay. The next word is scope. Scope. 
O -p scope. I hear a long O. Okay, go ahead and write it. Ready? Okay, this should be easy for you, I think. I hear sk, sk. And oh, wait, we know two ways to say sk, right? What's the next sound? O. Okay, so should we use SC or SK? SC because the next sound is O. Good. P. What makes the O say O? A bossy E. Great job. Let's count our sounds. S. K. O. Four sounds, just like we said. Great job. Okay, ready for your sentence? It has a couple of words we've already written and one word that you'll have to sound out, but you can do it, okay? The flowers sway with the breeze. The flowers sway with the breeze. The flowers sway with the breeze. We already wrote flower, we already wrote breeze. Go ahead and write the sentence. Pause the video now, take your time, okay? Go ahead and pause the video and write, the flowers sway with the breeze. All right, ready? Let's write this together. The first word is the. That's a popcorn word that we've known forever, right? The. But what do we need to do because it's at the beginning of the sentence? We need to give it a capital T. Good, and we start all the way to the left. The flowers. I've got flower here. To make it flowers, we just put an S, right? The flowers sway. Okay, this is the one you are going to have to sound out on your own. Okay? What do you hear at the beginning? Sw. Sw. That's a consonant blend. S-W. And the ending is A. Which ending, which ending are we going to use for the A sound? It's at the end of the word. What do you think? A Y. It's just one of those ones you'll have to remember. The flowers sway with popcorn word. The breeze. There it is. The flowers sway with the breeze. One, two, three, four, five, six words, just like we said. Let's sweep our sentence, okay? The flowers sway with the breeze. The flowers sway with the breeze. One more time. The flowers sway with the breeze. Great job today. Let's go read a story. Okay, so for Friday's Read Aloud, I thought I'd um, take back and read a little classic, one of Henry's old favorites. You'll notice I'm reading a lot of Henry's books. These are all books that we still have at home from when he was little and liked to read books like this. Now he's reading chapter books, reading Harry Potter, he's reading all kinds of stuff. So um, these are kind of just for my use now, which is great. I'm so glad I had them here. This book is one of his favorites. It's called... King Midas and the Golden Touch by L. Perkins and illustrated by Harold Burson. All right. King Midas loved gold. He slept in a gold bed. He kept a bluebird in a golden cage. Every morning, the bluebird sang to wake him up. Hmm. 
every morning the king put on his golden crown, he sat down to breakfast with his daughter, Princess Leela. They drank royal grape juice, they ate royal sausages, and they drank from golden cups, and they ate from golden plates. After breakfast, the king went to see his royal goldsmiths. His goldsmiths made him golden clocks and golden tables. They even made him golden fish hooks. Every day, the king went for a ride. He went all over his land looking for gold. Then he took the gold back to his palace. He's a little obsessed with gold. In the palace, his servants took the gold downstairs. The king unlocked a secret door. Hmm. The servants took the gold into a big dark cave. The cave was full of gold. It's a lot of gold. Every day, King Midas locked himself in. Gold, he would say, I love the way it shines. Gold, he would say, I love the way it feels. Gold, 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 how I love my gold. Kind of weird. One day, the king was in his cave. He heard a sound. He looked up. He saw a strange little man. How did you get in here, he, he asked. Oh, I can do anything, said the little man. Why, I can even make a wish come true. What do you wish for most? What do I wish for most? Gold, of course, said the king. I wish that everything I touch would turn to gold. That is a very big wish, said the little man. It may not make you happy, but if that's what you want... I will make your wish come true. Go upstairs, go to bed. In the morning, everything you touch will turn to gold. There was a flash of light. The little man was gone. That night, King Midas could not sleep. All night he wondered, will my wish come true? Will I really have the golden touch? What do you think? At last, the sun came up. The king's bluebird began to sing. King Midas sat up. He reached out to touch the bird. The bluebird turned gold. It works, shouted King Midas. I have the golden touch. He put his royal coat and he put on his royal coat and pants. His coat and pants turned to gold. That might be kind of heavy and uncomfortable. King Midas ran through his palace. He turned a doorknob to gold. He turned a chair to gold. He turned his umbrella to gold. Then he ran into the garden. He turned a frog to gold. He touched the red roses. He turned them all to gold. Look, he called to Princess Leela. Look what I can do. But Leela did not answer. She just looked at the golden roses. They were hard and cold. They did not even smell. The king and the princess went to eat breakfast. King Midas was very happy. He took a royal sausage. Ouch! yelled King Midas. My sausage has turned to gold. I can't eat this, he cried. He reached for his grape juice. What do you think is going to happen? Oh my! said King Midas. Golden grape juice? Uh-oh. He can't eat or drink. I must have food. I'm hungry, he shouted. He ran into the ro royal kitchen. He grabbed a fish. It turned to gold. He grabbed apples and donuts. He grabbed more and more sausages, and the same thing happened. This is a problem. The same thing happened all day long. The king couldn't write. His ink turned to gold. He couldn't make a fire. The logs turned to gold. All the king's servants ran away. No one could work in a palace like this. That night, the king tried to brush his teeth. He tried to take a bath. He tried to go to bed. But there was nothing he could do. 
all day long with nothing to eat? I couldn't do it. King Midas sat on his golden bed. He began to cry. Princess Leah heard her father. She came into his room. Poor daddy, said Leela. Please don't cry. She ran to her father. She held out her arm. King Midas reached out. He touched his little girl. Leela turned into a statue of gold. Day after day, King Midas sat on his golden throne in his golden palace. He looked and he looked at his cold gold daughter. Then one day, there was a flash of light. King Midas looked up. The little man was back. King Midas, said the little man, I think I will give you one more wish. If you love something more than gold, wish for it. King Midas, wish for it with all your heart. King Midas jumped up and he wished with all his heart. He put out his hand, he touched his cold gold daughter. His wish came true. He had turned his daughter back from gold. They ran through the palace. The king touched everything. He turned everything back into what it was before. He touched the roses. He touched the frog. He touched the umbrella. He touched the bluebird. Last of all, he touched the royal sausages and the royal grape juice. Then King Midas and Princess Leah sat down to breakfast. It was the happiest breakfast they had ever had. What did you think of that one? Henry always really liked it. I like it too. It's funny because he wished for something so grand, but then when it came down to it, it was not a really good wish, right? He didn't think it through. Everything you touch turned to gold. He couldn't eat, he couldn't hug his daughter. It just didn't work out, right? But luckily, the little man granted him another wish. He was very lucky to have everything go back the way it was. Well, we had a really great week of learning. I'm so proud that you were with me today and all week. I'm so proud that you're continuing through all of this. You're doing such a great job. Um, I want you to have an amazing weekend. Have some fun, get some rest, and... I will see you on Monday. I love you and I miss you very much. Bye.